Hey guys, it's Jackie. So I wanted to give you an overview of my home scents um, collection. So there are four shelves here. I'm trying to go slow so I don't make you seasick. Um, I filmed this once and I did the watch back and I was like, oh my God, Jack, you're going to make everybody sick. So here on this side of this cabinet, now this is that wet bar um, area that I told you about. Here is the old plumbing for it. So back in the 70s, it was very popular to have that bar in your living room. And so I went through this yesterday and I was talking about this on my video last night. And a couple of you were like, yes, let's see your collection. So some of this stuff is really old that I'll never get rid of or ever burn or use, but I can't let go of it. So it's a double-edged sword, right? So in this bag are my wallflowers. They're just a couple extra wallflowers. Um, a couple of my favorites. This one is the pecan, uh, pumpkin pecan waffles. And the other side of this door um, here is a outlet and I have a wallflower plugged in there. I right now have Tis the Season and I know somebody had asked me what I think about that and I am not sure that I really like it. Um, it's a really, really sweet apple scent with some cinnamon in it, but I don't know that it's for me. So in here is just a couple extra wallflowers, uh, marshmallow fireside. So I just keep them in this bag so I know exactly where they are. And then I was telling you guys, I found some extra of my old party light tea lights. So um, in here we have the ebony oud. And I don't know if you know anything about party light. Let me show you what the tea light looks like. This is a tea light. It comes in that plastic container. And most of the tea lights, they do pop out of that plastic container. Um, I only put them out at Christmas time. So I have a ton in here. Uh, I think per box is a dozen. I know it's a lot. Uh, winter berries. There's a couple peppermint. This one's almost empty. This one's peppermint snowflakes. There's two of those. And then my all time favorite scent from Party Light is um, Timbati Safari. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And then back here are a couple of um, my Scentsy bars. These are the big ones. This is Mojito Mambo. I've only used it once. There was a fundraiser near my house this summer, and so I stopped and got it. This one is peach and white amber. I've used a lot. There's only that much left out of that big bar. Um, I really like that one. There's a couple extra plug, like um, Scentsy and Wallflower plugs back there because I have my holiday ones out. And then... Sorry, I just lost power. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I'm not sure that this video is supposed to happen. This is my third attempt. I might add the clip um, where my power just went out here in Southeast Michigan. I was in the middle of telling you guys. I'll have to watch back to see where I had left off. Um, and I was literally like, huh. My power went out, so that might be the intro into this video. So I think that part where I left off, I was talking about um, the bricks back there, and then I have a couple fall warmers. Um, and my first video, the um, I was moving way too fast. Sorry, all that noise is my light. And then um, there is a store near me in Michigan, not in Michigan, well there is one in Michigan, but that originated um, in Ohio. It's called the Swan Creek Candle Company. I think a couple people can get these. You can get them online. I think it's uh, swancreekcandlecompany.com. But these are their waxes, and they come in these big containers. And last year, they were only $12.25 for this big container, and they will last you forever. And this one is in salted caramel popcorn. There is one in here in peppermint twist and i've had these for a couple of years my all-time favorite scent from swan creek candle company is sage and citrus um this is amazing let me see um tell you what i think it smells like 
uh, sage and citrus. <laughs> I know that's crazy. Um, and then there is leather right there. And I think a backup of sage and citrus and let's see, um, Southern sweet tea, which smells amazing. There's a wall or a candle in the marshmallow fireside. I have those everywhere all over. I have a stash of them that Joe knows not to touch. And then um, on this side, I have some old um, party light candles. I don't know the scent of these because they're not on the box anywhere. They used to be labeled on there, but I don't know why they're not on there. So there's a few boxes. There's even vintage, which is the Butter Pecan. That's vintage packaging for um, party light. And then I have a ton of hand soaps back there ranging from fall, winter, summer, spring, you know, all different ones. I need to get some more updated. These are pretty old. And then all of my Scentsy bars um, that I'm currently working on. I know I showed you guys the Hugga collection. I think I've changed my mind on one of them, which I'll go ahead and talk about it now. It's Toasty Cabin. It smells like men's cologne. But warming, I'm not sure about it. So I might take that out of my um, Scentsy Scent Club. And then down here, on the second shelf of this cabinet with my collection, are candles that either I want to burn or I can burn. I know this is going to sound really ridiculous. And this is first world problems. Um, that I will allow myself to burn. There are a couple exceptions back there and I will bring out the one and show you. These are the only two Yankee candles that I have left. This is Midsummer's Night in Amber Glow. I did see this at Home Goods. I thought about picking it up. I think it was for $12.99. Um, but Yankee has changed over the years. I know we've talked about that in another haul. And then ironically, I got a coupon today for the Yankee Candle Store, which there is one inside my mall. I just don't know because you guys they're so expensive if you can get them on sale then I say go for it but they really don't throw the scent um, like they used to but I wanted to show you guys this one this is the nook candle lot lots and lots of controversy around this it says no place like home it's made with notes of soft musk vanilla bean and cedar wood if you notice there is no label on this candle because Bath and Body Works, um, I believe, I think it was last year, they got in trouble for infringing on copy, ugh, can't talk, infringing on copyrights. So when I heard that that was going to be a novelty or an item that you couldn't get, I have seen it one other time in the last year at the store. I wanted to get it, um, just because I thought it was cool and then I had to Google the whole story. So you can look, you can Google the story. I'm not a drama channel, so I'm not going to sit here and tell you what I heard. But it's a really good candle anyways. So those are my two Yankees that are left. Tons of candles in here. This one, this candle is one of my favorites. This is the original. I'm sorry if you can hear my D-O-G. I had to spell it because he's listening. It's uh, Woody Veltier, Black Peppercorn, and Aromatic Cedar. Oh my God, this smells so deep and so like woodsy, musky. But I wanted to show you guys on this side. I just pulled this one over. This is one of my watermelon lemonades from last spring. There are a couple candles in here. And this is where it went haywire for, um, look how dusty this is. Um, I tried to go through here. That's kind of what inspired this video. I was going through and dusting these two shelves because since we got our new hardwood floor, um, I hadn't, you know, dusted behind these two. I don't know if you can see without showing too much of everything. Um, that's what the two cabinets look like. This is where more, most of my home fragrance is. And I tried to go through here to dust everything off, and I noticed that I did miss a couple things. Um, but a couple of these candles I wanted to show you or tell you about. This Honolulu Sun, Joe had gotten it for me at one of the Bath and Body Works in Ann Arbor. It was really, really hard to find. There's another original. And then this one um, is one of my all-time favorite candles. 
and I hope and pray that Bath and Body Works brings this back out again. And this one is Home Sweet Caramel Comfort. It's comforting new blend of warm caramel, vanilla bean, juicy pear. Puts a new spin on Home Sweet Home. Um, it smells amazing. They need to bring that out. If they brought that out for candle day, that would be the only candle I bought. <laughs> no, not really. I would get others. But I had told you guys about these Mia, and I was right about the name. They are called Mia Melts, and I don't know where or how you can get these, but this one is in the Oriental uh, Teak Wood, and my all-time favorite is in Texas Cedar Wood. I knew it was Texas something, but these, this one's um, especially smells like a men's cologne. If you notice a theme through all my stuff, a lot of the items that I like are musky men's cologne. Oh, there's another Hallelujah Sun. But I don't know where you can get these. I believe I got them on eBay. I did open the packaging in one of the other videos and they still smell really good. So I might bust that out and put them in a warmer and see, you know, how it does. Old packaging for Twisted Peppermint. And I want to say, oh yeah, back there, there's a vanilla bean old, old packaging, a raspberry peach macaroon, a cinnamon sugar donut. Oh my God. If you can get your hands on one of those candles, oh, they smell good. And the scent throws really, really good. This one is waffle, or I always said that, pumpkin pecan waffles, peppermint brownie, backup. There's a hay honey, which, oh which is a really, really good one. It's honey and pear focus. Anyways, so here is an overview. A couple of you guys said you wanted to see this. This by no means is my whole entire collection. This is just a little snippet. Um, this is in my living room. There's the drawers for the wet bar. You can see this is where I come to pull out candles or wax. Um, like I said, I have branched out in the last little bit with different candles. I did pick up this um, Valspar. I'm trying not to show my family pictures because I don't have permission to show them on the internet. I had watched Mr. Kong's mom. She had talked about that and that brand she had gotten at um, Sephora. So when Sephora had their 20% off sale, I picked it up. Anyways, those are my candles, my Scentsy Melts, my soap, my wallflowers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully this is a better rendition, and I'll probably add where I lose power in the beginning. So I hope you guys have a great night, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!